Coming right up is Marvel News number 177. It's an all team up edition of Marvel News coming to you straight from the seventh level of hell where it never stops snowing. We're going to talk about the Inhumans. Royal Family is going to get a brand new head. We're going to tell you who that is. We're going to talk about what Mr. Humphreys and Mr. Hopeless are going to be doing now that there's no more X-Force in their lives. We're going to talk about Deathlock and how Deathlock is going to be showing up in a whole bunch of different team books in the Marvel Universe, all of which has something to do with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on ABC. We're going to talk about Thunderbolts and how the art is going to get a little uneven in the near future on that book. And we're going to wrap it all up with the breaking up of a team that's been working the Marvel Cosmic side of the universe for quite some time. All that and more coming right up. Here at Alternate Reality, for every $50 you ring up over there on the register, we're going to give you one of these. An Alternate Reality Back Issue Buck. Now, each Back Issue Buck is good for $5 worth of either boxed back issues, clearance comics, or variant cover sets. Now, these are good forever. They never expire. And you can either use them one at a time or bank them all up and come in and do a shopping spree. That's just another way that your money works harder here at Alternate Reality. With pen and paper, they create art and story. With Digital Bites and Oxygen, Comic Book Man and Bo, Lament and Perspire. Marvel News. Feel the urgency. Now, nap. <laughs> Marvel, Comic Book News, Episode 177. Serenity, free for all. Hey folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video on house. Yes. Yeah. What time is it? It's Marvel News time. Oh, the Marvel this News, the, the best favorite. news of them all. The Marvel News coming from this place, Alternate Reality, which is located, located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Which is under 14 feet of snow. Which is under about 14 it's feet nine. of snow. Suck it up, you weasels. Alternate Reality, where all my new comics, especially my Marvel comics, are always 15% off every day for everyone. This is an all team up edition of Marvel News. We're going to start off with the Inhumans. That's right, one of Marvel's oldest teams, the Inhumans. When that, when Charles Soule says that when the Inhumans series begins in April, we will see Medis Medusa, Medusa, Medusa get a promotion she's to. A she's a new head of the royal family because the one knows where Black Bolt is, and we assume Maximus is dead. Oh, yeah. Which means at some point, Black Bolt will wake up and go, "Well, he won't say anything, but he'll show up and just look stern." Uh, the first arc will show that everyone on Earth sees the new Inhumans as a good thing, one of which is a regular Inhuman named Lash, who's like, wait a minute, this is supposed to be a limited thing, you know, a certain number of people got the powers, and now all of a sudden we've got two million people getting them. I think I need to kill some of these new people. Why, you know, this is the same problem they had with the mutants, where they killed off all the mutants, except for like, what was it, 99 of them, or 199? 100, 108, I believe. And now we've got two million people with Inhuman powers yes. running around. Well, well they all mutated. What the hell? It's no what longer a special thing. Okay. Uh, if you collect Uncanny X-Force and Cable and X-Force, you might be wondering what Sam Humphreys and Dennis Hopeless are up to. Bo? Well, what they, are they up to? They're going to get brand new books because Uncanny X-Force and Cable and X-Force no longer exist. Well, no. The Vendetta arc ended, and so those books are gone away, and you'll be have a regular X-Force book coming out with, with people who aren't Humphreys and Hopeless. And so, they've already got new books lined up because fans like their work. Hey, you know, if you watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on ABC, you have so much more intestinal fortitude than some of the rest of us have. <laughs> I love that show. Good for you. Thank you. But if you watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., you know that, spoiler, Deathlock no! has shown up. Deathlock has shown up, yes. Deathlock has shown up. Now, how will they work this into the comic, Bo? Oh, we're going to see Deathlock in the Uncanny Avengers, Rick Remender, yes. and we're also going to see him in All New Invaders, because that's hinted in issue number two. And, and because the fact that he's now in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., he's going to be a regular character, is is... It's happy coincidence because the writers on those books are already planning on doing that. But the yeah. fact that he's there, people will go, "Where's Deathlock? Where's De Can I see Deathlock in the comics?" He go right there. He's and no, there. he won't be Mike Peterson. He's going to show up in Archie. No. He's not going to show up in Archie. Oh, okay. He might not wind up being Mike Peterson on the show either. I mean, the, he could just wind up being the preliminary Deathlock. They might actually wind up with uh, Luther. Well, I, what's his name? Well, Andrew. if if you watch this week's episode of Shield where they they went through all the stuff. What you saw is he did a close-up on his leg, yeah. and it said that, yeah, this is a Deathlock project. So I'm yeah. assuming there are other metal parts out there. He's not the only one, but we think he's the first one. Well, the Deathlock in the comic had more than just one leg. He that had a leg. He had, uh, yeah, he had, his leg was Big off. chunk he of his face. Arm. Laser his eye. face was covered in a laser eye. eye. Yeah, so they've kind of went with it, except they, they haven't went with all metal. He's not wearing a specific suit, and then he's got a more screwed up face. So you can see the actor and go, man, his face is messed up. That's a terrible thing. Meanwhile, a team that has not on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. yet, but maybe someday, 
is the Thunderbolts. Who's the regular artist on that book? There is the one. Re- well, who's there the is new one? one? Carlo Barbieri's going to come back for an arc because everyone loves it, but Marvel said, you know, we, we have Charles Soule working on the book as a regular writer. We don't really need a regular art team, and not having a regular art team means one thing, comic fans. The book ships on time. Well, yeah, guys, it's, also, guys, it's also... It's also... Uh, it's also inconsistent as hell as far as an art style goes. Well, it's art, yeah, art style wise, but storyline wise, it works just fine. And Carlo Barbieri is a guy who's worked on it most of them. I and mean, he's actually, of the, all the people that have worked on the book, he's the best one. The arc that was before the arc that just started with Ghost Rider, the art was inconsistent and kind of scratchy, but Barbieri is doing the current arc with Ghost Rider, and it looks damn good. Final story involves Guardians of the Galaxy, as you may have heard, is a big, big movie coming out this summer. And there's also. And a sequel! And there's also an anniversary coming up this year for yes. the Guardians of the Galaxy, but we have a sad story about him. Creative breakup. They had already announced it for the anniversary of Guardians of the Galaxy. Dan Abnett and Andy Lanning were going to be working on stories for that book because mm-hmm. those are the guys who worked on Marvel Cosmic and made Marvel Cosmic a big deal again. Yes. Apparently, well, remember two, Annihilation? Right, Annihilation all came from Abnett and Lanning. All Marvel mm-hmm. Cosmic started when these guys started working on it. Unfortunately, the team of Abnett and Lanning no longer exists because for some unknown reason that no one wants to talk about, they've had a personal falling out and they're no longer working together again. Were, were they? I don't know. That's why I'm mentioning this. No. Are they? Were no. they like? No, they okay. weren't. No, they weren't. They okay. weren't. Well, I don't know. I mean, they could. It, I know. Like, and, and that was the first Leighton, thing. Leighton and Michelini were for years. Leighton and Michelini were, knew. yeah, Leighton and Michelini were, were a couple. But yeah, they weren't a couple. It's just something happened. Nobody really wants to talk about what happened, but they broke up. And, you know, Abnett posted and said, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not working with him anymore. We don't work together or anything like that. And I'm working on some more cosmic stuff. But this is a team that's been working together for. 15, 20 years, yeah. and they just said, we're not working together anymore. And no one knows well, exactly they got, why. Before Annihilation, they were doing Legion over DC. They were doing which Legion was, which over was DC. Okay, but getting, as, as with most Legion things, getting much more critical critical praise than it was ever getting sales. Well, they were working on Legion when Oliver Coppell was working on it. And, you know, the, the current regime at DC, all those stories don't exist anymore because Coppell left and Abnett and Lanning left. And so those books have never been traded because they were like, we're not trading them. These weasels left us. Well, that's okay. Nothing had happened pre-New 52 happened in the DC. Yeah, that's true. Never they had. still do trades all the time. Never all stuff. And, Although DC's been doing a lot less trades lately. I don't know if that's all of it. No, they, no, actually, no, actually they've picked up on the number of trades they've been doing. It's By not time. as much, it's not as much as it was say five years ago, but they picked up a little bit on the number of trades they're doing. And a lot of hard covers. Okay, that's it. We're done. Finish out of here. Go to the store's website. Check out all the Marvel news. Bo sends me that I post up there. Bo. Yes. We're teaming up here. Where should these folks team up at in order to see more news? Team up, pair up, sit in front of your computer, and Sarah will tell you exactly where you're supposed to go to find out all this stuff. Maybe if you all go at least once, I'll shut up. www.mountainmelody.com. Go to the store's website. Check out all his news. Till next time, this is Comic Book Man. Oh, this is Bo saying it's a sad thing when, when partners break up. Yeah, like Leno and Letterman. Yeah, they were friends. Yeah, it's true. They were Once friends. upon a time. Once upon a time, they were the best of friends. That was when Jay was actually funny. Yeah. Well, well and he could go back to that now. <laughs> now he can go back to being funny after 35 years. Bye! The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.